And coming home with his first win of the 2019 Durance Lane Chevrolet Dirt Late Model Series season, none other than the Cruise Missile, Cruise Skinner. Cruise, good job tonight. Looked like it was uh, uh, pretty uneventful for you this evening. Uh, these races are never uneventful. Uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to uh, qualify fast time, got lane choice, and I was able to get the lead right there at the beginning of the race. Um, you know, I was able to hold a little bit of a gap, but I, I knew those guys weren't going to stay back there long. Uh, we got in some lap traffic, and, you know, um, those guys got up to me and gave me a little bit of a scare. And right there at the end of the race, I know we was real close. But, uh, like I said, none of these races are uneventful. None of them are easy to win, but uh, I'm glad we was able to get it done. Well, if you thought your night was uneventful, wait till you see the video and see what was going on behind you. It was wild and woolly out there. You dug deep into Will Harrington's notebook now. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that. Me, me and him talked a little bit about Talladega in this place. Uh, you know, it, we didn't really say a whole lot. But, uh, you know, he uh, he came and took a picture by my car this morning, and uh, it ended up on my racing page. So I'd go sit in his car, and uh, <laughs> I, I made a little Facebook post about it. You know, it, it's great when you can joke around like that and have fun with a – when the people that's on the series, you know, it's a lot of fun. That makes traveling more fun and hanging out a lot of fun. There wasn't a lot of uh, fun going out there on that racetrack for all those guys behind you, but I'm telling you, Cruz, you're, you're closing in a little bit piece by piece on uh, Jake Knowles. I mean, before this thing's over, you, you might make a, a battle out of it. And, uh, you know, you've already won the young gun thing, so you can't sweep that. But rookie of the year in the national championship is not out of a possibility. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I, I was messing around with Jake earlier. I said, I'm going to try to take out Orange uh, Spoiler at some point this year. I said, I'm not sure if it's going to happen, but I'm, I'm definitely going to try. But, uh, you know, we was able to gain a little bit on them at Smoky Mountain and the Taldega and came out here last night, kind of screwed up in qualifying and wiped that back out. But uh, tonight was a good point. Tonight, uh, you know, anytime you win, it's a good night. Uh, you know, no matter what happens, you, if you win, it's, it's usually a pretty good night. But, uh, yeah, I can't thank everybody enough that helps you out. Um, all these guys race me clean. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm real excited for the rest of this tour, and you know, hopefully I'll be able to chip away. And uh, whether or not I put the orange spoiler on, I hopefully I'll take uh, walk away with that title. Well, you know, two of the tracks that you mentioned where you gained some points on Jake, we're going back to Smoky Mountain Speedway in Maryville, Tennessee, coming up on uh, August the uh, 16th. And going back to uh, Talladega Short Track NASCAR weekend for two races there that weekend, so you got to have those penciled in red. Oh yeah, you know Talladega is my home track. Uh, you know those races are always circled on my calendar. Uh, whether I run a tour or not, we're we're at those races for sure. Um, you know I, I won the Saturday night show at uh, Talladega Race Weekend in October last year, so you know that's that's really big and winning here. Um, you know, coming down here, I've been here maybe three times, and, you know, I've never really run good. Uh, you know, so this weekend's been a big boost in uh, morale and confidence. So, you know, I'm really excited for the rest of the tour now. Well, he's got Cochran Motor Speedway figured out. Cruz Skinner, win number one of the 2019 season for the young 17-year-old driver out of Oxford, Alabama, leading the Cruz with the champions, rookie of the year point, and trying to chip away at Jake Knoll's point lead. And we're with our second place driver tonight, Joseph Brown out of Columbus, Georgia. And uh, Joseph, you were the guy that just kind of come out of nowhere tonight. Tell us about how you got up to second spot. Uh, we had a good car all weekend and uh, just uh, we got to run a Conti and it just helped me out a ton. I got to gamble on some stuff on my car. Um, we don't get to crate race a whole lot. This is my first time crate racing in a long time. And uh, we just gambled on something on the car and it really worked for us. Um, it was a awesome racetrack there for about the first 40 laps. The uh, last 10 kind of took rubber there, but it was such an awesome racetrack, and uh, we had a good crowd of cars. Can't, can't complain. Talk me through that wild scramble there with Jake Knowles and Pearson Lee Williams, yourself, and Will Harrington going into turn three. That was some wild racing. Yeah, um, I seen uh pearson he slid him getting into, into three and i knew if i could shut the door there that that jake it would be hard for him to turn back down the hill and and try to get back by me but uh, i don't know what happened between all of them i know there was a little bit of bent sheet metal but um uh, it's part of it i mean we uh i don't know we had fun i had that was probably the most fun i've had in a long time racing 
Well, you going to come back and do some more? Yeah, um, it's a testament to uh, GM right here. Um, my motor comes straight from GM. That motor comes straight from the box, uh, and uh, it was just like my 525. I've had nothing but good luck with it, and uh, I, uh, I appreciate y'all having a race. And just want to thank uh, John and Lewis Aiken for uh, giving me an opportunity to drive their car. We got a <clears throat> we got a new car at home, and I, I really enjoy driving the old one. And uh, he just lets me know whatever. And I want to thank Corey for coming and helping me this weekend. And my uh, fiance Lindsay, we ain't got but a few more left, uh, or a few more months left, and we'll be married. So, uh, man, I'm just very thankful right now. We are in a good position the way we're racing, and uh, hopefully, we get to race a little bit more this year and have some fun. Well, we look forward to having you with us for more Durrance Lane Chevrolet Dirt Laid Model Races. Joseph Brown, second place finish tonight with the Durrance Lane Chevrolet Dirt Laid Model Series here at Cochran Motor Speedway in Cochran, Georgia. And with us now, a guy that was in the thick of things all night long, Pearson Lee Williams out of Dublin, Georgia, brought the Dublin tire machine home with a third place finish tonight. And, uh, man, it was wild and woolly out there tonight. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Uh... It was fun. You know, it started off really fun at the beginning, and then uh, it latched up right around the top, and it made it really, really interesting, uh, you know, because on those restarts, it was fighting for the same position. So, uh, yeah, it was a really, really fun race. Now, what did you prefer on those restarts? Because, I mean, you was all over the racetrack tonight, inside or outside? Well, at the very beginning, uh, the rubber was at the very, you know, way top, at the very top, and it was you had to run it wide. And um, so at the very beginning, inside, I think, would have been a little bit better. But not that last restart when I chose the inside, I should have chose the outside. The rubber, <clears throat> it started coming a little bit further down. And you could have get a better run. And, uh, hey, Joseph did exactly what I would have done if I was on the outside. So, uh, any, you know, we run each other clean. You know, it was a really good race. Pearson Lee Williams coming home with a third-place finish at his home racetrack. Cochrane Motor Speedway in Cochrane, Georgia with the Durrance Lane Chevrolet Dirt Laid Model Series.